All right, hello everyone who's live and who's watching this later. Uh, welcome to your hit. Today we'll be doing a mix of a little bit of everything, but we will be primarily also using a bench or a step or a box or whatever you have at home. All right, oh, excellent. We have even more coming in. All right, yes. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get warmed up with some leg swings. We're gonna keep our core tight. We're gonna swing in and swing out. Just warming up our glutes. Run up here. Now I'm gonna go for five more swings. You can go for as many or as little as you like. And three, two, and one. Excellent, other side. Now, if you need some extra balance, you can hold on to a wall. If you find you need the assistance, that's fine too. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go for side to side. Nice and wide stance. Lower in our body weight and then shifting side to side, warming up our knees, warming up our hips, getting a little bit of a stretch on the inner thigh. For those who just tuned in, make sure you have a pair of light, medium, and heavy weights. You'll need a little bit of everything. Uh, if you don't, definitely let me know and I can hopefully offer some modifications. Yeah, so I have a pair of fives, tens, and fifteens, and a single twenty-five, but if you don't have similar range of weights, let me know. Three, two, and one. Here we're to go for a back lunge and twist, what that looks like. We're gonna, sorry, we're gonna step here, we're gonna step back, and we're just gonna twist towards the front leg, and come up, twist towards the other way. So I'll show you from the front. So here, twist towards the front leg. Warming up our core, warming up our knees. Turning through. So two more sides, so two. Two, one, and one. Excellent. Back in those leg swings. So here, core tight, pushing in, pushing out. If you're worried about being recorded, don't worry, it's just me. As I have myself pinned. Got yeah, nothing to fear. And two more. Two. And one. Other side. Remember to breathe through your stomach the whole time. Keep that core tight. And three. And two. And one. Excellent. Back to the side to side. Get nice and wide. Low stance. Shift your weight side to side. Warming up for inner thigh. Warming up for knees. Warming up for glutes. If you have any injuries or considerations or modifications, definitely let me know in the chat. Today will be a little bit of everything. We're also using a box or a bench. If you don't have one of those, I'll be offering some modifications. And five. Four, three, two, and one. Here, going for a back lunge and twist, foot planted, shoulders back, twist towards the front leg. So my right leg is in front, lunging back, twisting towards my right. And come up, twist. And twist. Try to turn towards your front leg. Here, four more. Four, three, Two, and one. Excellent. Starting off, we're gonna use sumos. We're gonna take a heavy weight, so a 15, 20, 25, whatever you have lying around. Let's start off with a nice, big, multi-muscle exercise. So if you don't wide, 45 degrees, keep the shoulders back. We're gonna reach the weight towards the floor. And push straight up. So I'm gonna go for a 15, so I have 13 more. Make sure to inhale as you come in, exhale as you push. Those on camera, excellent form. Good depth. Do the best you can. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. And here we're gonna take that same heavy weight. We're gonna go for a row. So we're gonna mix our upper and lower body. 
So you can stand either here, regular stand, you can use a box or bench if you have it, like this, or you can use a wall. Since I have a, a bench, I'm gonna be using it. Three, two, we're going for 15. And one, two, three, four, five, 10 more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. There, switching sides. If you don't have a box or bench, again, you can take a lunge stance, you can use a wall, you can use your own body weight. Three, four. Ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, and fifty. All right, back in those two modes. Taking that heavy weight, feet are nice and wide, shoulders back. If you can't bring the weight to the floor, if you can't, that's okay. Go as low as you're as low as possible. Three, four. So breathing in, breathing out. Eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, and knees out. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Back in those heavy rows. Again, you can take a lunge stance like this. You can use the wall, you can use a bench. I'll be using a bench, because we have it. All right, in three, two, and 15 aside. And one, two, Nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. If you're going at your own pace, if you're going a little faster or slower than me, that's okay. I want you to go at your own pace. In three, two, and let's go. And one. Nine, ten, four, Three, two, and one. Perfect. From here, we're actually gonna start off with a single leg squat or a pistol squat. That looks like we're gonna plant our legs, we're gonna stick one leg out, and we're actually gonna try to stand up on the other leg. I'll show you two different ways to do it. You can do it modified or unmodified. So unmodified, because one leg is down, one leg is out, you're just gonna stand up like so, and then come back down. Now, if you didn't modify it, all you do is just stick the other leg out and dig just your heel into the ground. So here, coming up, going back down, like this. So good, that's modified. Let's go for, I'm gonna go for eight more. And you can mix it up. So I'll do four modified and four unmodified. Three, two, and one. Two, and you can keep this leg up the whole time if you want and four, or you can do it modified. Dig that heel down, four more. And four, and back. Three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. Here, I'll do five unmodified and five modified. And three, two, and one. And two, three, four, Exhale, you push five. Now, five unmod sorry, five modified. Still digging down, coming up, one. And two. Three. Four, and one more for me. And five. Excellent, here, got our lighter weight. We're gonna go for some rear fly. You do a quick double check in the chat. Everything's good so far, okay. Got your lighter weight, your fives, your sevens. Go for some rear fly. Here, going for 15, one and five. Bent over, core tight, pulling back, and one. And two. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Now, if you're gonna go faster, slower, eight, that's fine. Nine, go at your own pace. Ten, five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, excellent. Back to those legs. 
Okay, here I'll do five unmodified and five modified. You choose how many of each you do. Starting with my right. Right foot planted, left leg out in the air. In three, two, and one. Two. Right, keep that leg out. And three. Four. And five. Excellent. Now five modified. I'm going to do unmodified or modified the whole time. That's fine too. So five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Switching sides. Left leg in. Right leg is sticking out. Five unmodified. Or just five regular. One. And two. Inhales you come in. Exhales you push. Three. Four. And five. Now five modified. Put dug in. Left leg tucked in. And let's go. Five. Four. And three. Two. And one. Excellent. From here, back on the rear flies. Grabbing your lighter weights, your five, seven. Starting in four. Three, two, and one. Push, one, two. Seven, eight. Ten, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Excellent. Here, a quick water break. Then we're gonna grab our heavy weight and we're gonna go for some, some swings after. But for now, just grab some water. We'll take 35 seconds. Okay. So here, grabbing a single heavy weight. We have two options. We can do a swing or a deadlift. I'll show you both. So the swing from the side, just keep planting your shoulders back. For the inhales, we reach down between our legs. For the exhales, we push to better face height like this. And push. Key part here, my knees aren't actually going forward. I'm bending straight through my hips and focusing on pushing my hips out. If that's too much, you can do a deadlift. Be planted sitting, your shins actually stay straight. Or we're going to imagine the kettlebell or weight traces our shins coming up. So I'm going to go for 10 more swings. You can do 10 deadlifts or 10 swings. Up to you. And 10. 9. 8. 7. 5. 4. 3. 2. And one. Excellent. From here, we're gonna go into our mat. We're gonna do a little bit of core work. So we did some low back, now we're gonna do some some front pelvis. Perfect. So here, we're actually gonna go for some uh, some leg raises. So the hands reach our low back. We're gonna mix in a bit more core work with our low back work. So here, hands knees to the low back, feet half straight, or mostly straight, straight legs mostly straight, and pulling up to our core, in two, three, four, five, and going for 12, six, you can go for as many, seven, or as little, eight, as you like, 11, and 12, perfect. Here, I'm going to flip over. I'm going to go for some hip taps. So on our elbows. Now, if the hip taps are too much, you can just uh, be on your elbows and hold a regular plank. I'm going to go for 20 hip taps. Go for as many or as little as you like. Starting now. Up and tapping your hips side to side. One, two, three, four. Twelve, thirteen. 14, keep going, 15, 16, 19, and 20. Excellent, coming back up, back to the swing. So the swing should be using your low back and your glutes, and your two core moves should be using your abdominus 
and your obliques. All right, swings in five, four, or deadlift, three, two, and one, let's go. And push, one, and two, again. So don't go above your face. Go just the face height or chest height. Is they okay? I got 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Weight on the ground. Going back to those leg raises. Lying face up, hands underneath our low back. Are we going for 12? You can go for as many or as little as you like. Try to make it easier, bend your legs in. Try to make it harder, bring your legs out. Starting now. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Excellent. Flipping over, back to head taps. Now elbows, are we going for 20 taps? Go for as many or as little as you like. Starting in three, two, and one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. From here, coming up, go for a single arm clean and press. This is a high intensity move for your shoulder and upper body. Take any medium to heavy weight. We're going to develop the squat stance. Weight between our knees. We're going to bring it up to our shoulder. Then press above our head. Starting in three, two, and one. Shoulder and press. And to our knees, shoulder, press. Here, we're going for 12 aside. So at three, you can go for as many or as little as you like. Push. Or to breathe through your stomach the whole time. Push. Almost there. Two more. Two. And one. Switching sides. And three. Two. And press. One. Go for 12. Two. Three. Inhale as you come in. Exhale as you press. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one here, and twelve, perfect. From here, we're actually going to use our bench or our mat, we're going to go for a step up and a kick, this is just body weight. If your ceiling is, if your ceiling is high enough, we're going to go for a step up, if your ceiling is low, or you're in a basement, I'll show you an alternative. So here, if we can, come up and add a knee up. I'll show you from the side. So here, down, and push. Now, if that's too much or you have the low ceiling, uh, don't hit your head. Instead, go for a back lunge and a high knee. So back lunge, high knee. So if you can't do a step, do a back lunge and a high knee, again, depending on your ceiling height. So if you don't uh, break a ceiling fan. All right, I got eight more here. Eight, going for 10 total left side. Seven, six, we're gonna breathe. Five, four, three more. Three, two, and one. Excellent, switching sides. So again, if you have a low ceiling, back lunge to high knee. If you have a high ceiling, uh, use your stepper box and come all the way up. So 10, nine, eight, push, seven, and six, five, four more, four, three, two more, two, push, one more, and one, excellent. 
Back in the single arm, clean and press. 30 and 4. 3, 2, 12 aside. Push. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 3 more, 10, one more, and reach, and 12, perfect, other side, starting now, press, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 4 more, 4, 3, 2, and 1, excellent, back in the step up, so again, if you don't have a low ceiling, go for a back lunge to a high knee, alright, starting in 4, 3, I'm starting on my left side, 2, and Oh, let me just my headband here. One, let's go. One, two, three. Going for a ten, four. Go for as many, five, as you like. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two. Three, four, five, seven, nine, one more, and ten. All right. Got okay, a quick drink of water. Next, we're going to do two moves that use our obliques. We're doing back to back. We're going to go for bicycle kicks and windshield wipers. Now, both can be done as fast or slow as you want. And we'll be going for 50, 5 0 bicycle kicks and 20 windshield wipers. So, starting in the bicycle kicks in 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Can you just behind your ears? Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Three, four, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one, fifty. Woo, tough stuff. Next, we're going for windshield wipers. This one, our legs are going to go side to side. You can have your knees as straight or as bent as you want. The straighter your legs are, the harder this move is. Legs up, hands out, stretched, side to side, and one. I'll be going for 20, two, but you can go for as many or as little as you like. I'm going to go to 30, go to 30, I'm going to stop at 10, stop at 10. That's 10, I'm, half, I'm halfway there. Oh. And that's 10. Okay. Sorry, uh, my audio's cutting in for just a sec. If you can, go back to the windshield wiper. I'm gonna switch over. Okay, so keep going. I'm going to it's okay. I have this audio. Uh, let me know if that has changed how it sounds to you. If it hasn't, that's too late. 
but keep going. We'll play 12 more seconds of bicycle kick. And 10, 9, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Quick sound check. Sorry, uh, if you can't yet, go for it with just a little bit. I'll go for it. Well, one. Well, two. Is that better now? It's nice yeah, to yeah. volumes, right? Okay, great. Sorry, because it cut out for my end, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> what happened to you guys? Okay, good water break. Let's get back into it. <laughs> so that slight technical uh, hiccup there. So here, uh, we're taking medium to heavy weight. We're doing a little bit of shadow boxing. So on our mat, I'm going to grab my tons. We do a little bit more core work. All right, so here. Coming down, coming up, two punches if you can. Now this is a medium intensity. If you want a lower intensity, just no weights at all, or just come up, bring your legs in and do double punches. So that's low intensity. And then high intensity is keeping those legs up the whole time. So coming up. Now again, you can choose whatever intensity, Works for you, keeping your legs up the whole time, keeping your legs down, either one's fine. You have 10 more seconds of whatever intensity you want. So weights or no weights, keep punching as best you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next, we're gonna go for a plank and pullover. So that looks like straight legs, one weight on our mat. We're gonna transfer the weight from one side to the other while holding a plank, so I'll show you. So here, legs straight, core tight. Take the weight, bring it over to one side, and switch. Bring it over to the other. Like this. So I'm gonna go for 18 more. Go for as many or as little as you like. So 18 more for me. 18. Twelve more. Twelve. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. Back into the shadow boxing. So lying face up, grab your light weights, your medium weights, whatever you need. And here are three variations. We can go for easy which is coming up, no weight, or bring your knees into your chest. Medium is with the weight, coming up, regular punches, and then hardest, 
is actually keeping your legs up the whole time in tabletop position. Coming up, two punches, coming down. Coming up, two punches, coming down. So here, 20 more seconds, whatever form you want. So easy, coming up, medium, grabbing those weights, and then hard, keeping those legs up the whole time. 10 more seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Just down here. You're ready to go for that plank and pullover. Taking the single weight, moving it across your body. Are we going for 22? You can go for as many or as little as you like. So that's four. I have 18 more to go, but I'll do it from the side. Sixteen. 15, 14, keep going. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, from here, we're gonna go back to our upper body and lower body. We're gonna go for some curls, some regular curls and some hammer curls. So grab a medium to heavy weight, I'll be using 10. We're gonna go for 10 regular curls, 10 hammer curls. Palms facing up. We can double check what the chat says. And this was related to earlier. Yep, it was related to earlier. All right, so 10 each way, starting in three, two, and one. One, and two, three, Four, five, six more to breathe. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now palms in. Go for hammer curls in one. Full range of motion. Two, three. Think thumbs to shoulders. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, from here, now we're gonna use our bench or we can use the floor. We're gonna go for our tricep extensions and lat pulls. We'll show you both. So front of our mat, we're gonna lie face up with a single heavy weight. I'll be using a 25, you can use whatever you have lying around. So here, tricep, push. Turn up in the air. Then after triceps, we're gonna go for a lat pull, which is with your arms straight and then pulling through. So I'm gonna do this on the bench now. You can move from the floor or the bench. So here. If you have a bench, use it. And with the bench, you can actually get a little extra range of motion. You can go from behind your head, go all the way up. If you don't have a bench, the floor is a-okay. So here we got seven more. Seven, six, five more, five. Four, three, two, and one. Next one's gonna be an overhead lat pull. So that looks like our arms are actually straight. We're gonna reach from behind our head and then pull with straight arms to the center of our chest. Reaching all the way back, pulling through. So we're reaching back, pulling through. Key part here, this is not the same as the side of that exercise. The arms are actually straight here. I'm inhaling as I reach down, I'm exhaling as I pull through with straight arms. So here are four more, so four, three, two, and one more, and reach, and one, excellent. All right, back on two, those bicep curls. Got a medium to heavy weight, and each way, starting in three, two, shoulders back, one, and pull, 10, nine, Eight, turn to breathe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. And here, hammer curls. And one, two, three, four, five. Think thumbs to shoulders. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 
10. All right, try steps and then last. Next, even if I do from the floor, it'll be a little easier to see. So again, for triceps, your elbows are facing high, and your elbows are bending, very key. For triceps, your elbows are bending, for last, your elbows are not. So here, going for triceps, reaching from behind your head, and pressing right above. So reach, press. So elbows are mostly staying in the same place. The only thing that's bending is my actual elbow joint. So seven more. Seven, push. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now I'm going to play last. So if you're planted, arms are straight. We reach back with straight arm, and our arms face straight as we pull the center. So reaching back, the arms are straight, and I'm pulling through. So I go to feel it in behind my armpits and in behind my shoulder. Here's 12 more. 12. 10 more. 10. 9. Seven, six, five more, five, four, three, two more, two and one more, and one. Excellent. All right, last two exercises. We're gonna do a little bit of high intensity in terms of plyometrics. It is up to you how high or low you want to go. So we're gonna do some side kicks. We're gonna add a curtsy lunge. If you want a low intensity, just go for a side step and a side lunge. If you want a higher intensity, add a kick to it. I'll show you what I mean. So here, we're gonna curtsy down. If you want a low intensity, just step to the side. For a higher intensity, add a kick to it. Again, so low intensity, down, step. Higher intensity, come up, and as so hard as you can. I have eight more here. So eight, push. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, push. Again, I'll show the low intensity. It's just curtsy, sidestep, it's low intensity. High intensity, add that big old kick. So nine more for me. So nine, push. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. From here, we're going to do some mountain climbers. Palms down, knees to our chest. 25 seconds, starting in four, three, two, and one. Can you keep your core tight? Your knees into your chest, try to keep your hips level. Avoid bouncing them up and down. We have 12 more seconds left. And three, two, one. Each of those one more time. Let's go for those kicks. Starting in three, two, right side for me. One, curtsy. Kick, one, two, now if you need lower intensity, three, just go for a side step, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other side, go down, kick up to the side, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Mountain climbers, last time. This is it. We're going to breathe your stomach the whole time. Twenty more seconds. Avoid bounce those hips. Keep those knees into your chest. Fifteen more to go. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. All right, grab your drink of water, and for a little bit of stretching. All right, we're gonna start off with a nice, easy quad stretch. You can use a wall, or you can just use your balance. You can a little bit of core. I'll be using my balance. You can use whatever you have. So again, using that core, using that balance. If you want, you can also use a wall. That's fine too. 50 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two switching sides. And find that balance, find that center. You take a few rotations to find it. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one, here we're going to go for a hamstring stretch and the glute stretch. Don't you kneeling on your mat if you have it. Stick that leg out. And here, lean forward so it's a nice stretch in the hamstring. After that, we'll do the glute stretch on the same side. 20 seconds here. Here, keep that same leg, bring it parallel to the edge of your mat. Go for a glute stretch. Side. So here, I'm going for a hamstring stretch on the other side. So stick that leg out, put his back, lean forward for a nice stretch. Back to the thigh and the hamstring. 25 seconds here. Now leg parallel to the edge of the mat. We're gonna go for a glute stretch. And five, four, three, two. One. We're just going for a quick upper body stretch through here, shoulders low, one arm across our body, plug it in with the other arm, so we get a nice stretch across our middle shoulder, a little bit across our back shoulder. And three, two, and one, swing sides. One last stretch, both hands behind her back. This time we're actually gonna put her chin to the sky. So both hands behind her back, squeeze back her shoulders, put her chin to the sky. So now you stretch in the front of her neck. Ten seconds, ten. Three, two. And one, I'm gonna pause the recording here, but thank you everyone who watched this later. Thank you everyone who attended live.